According to Mayor of Castries, Peterson Francis, there is no malicious intent in the closure of the Comfort Station located in the George Charles Boulevard. The Mayor of Castries says the facility had steadily declined due to staff discomfort with servicing the station located in what has been described as a rough neighborhood. Francis believes the concept of a Comfort Station was misguided and robs residents of their dignity. It's degrading. For, you know, I mean, you can't do better, yes. But it's degrading for you to live in your home, going to a facility, everybody's seeing you, have your children, you have a, and what time of the night you could, you, you, you know, you could go there. So it's, 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 a, it's a very, very, very tickly situation. But we, we, we're not victimizing anybody. We're not trying to make anybody lose their seat. It's not we. I don't vote. It's these people. Francis dismissed the notion of political mischief on his part, claiming, like the leader of the opposition, he too wants a functional comfort station for residents. The mayor claims the employees who manned the facility were from the community and environs. It's not something we're trying to penalize, as I heard in, in Parliament, as I say, they're trying to penalize to the extent that they want him to lose his head. No, I'm very, I've been very cooperative with the leader of the opposition, and he could, he could attest to that. And I would love to have the facility open, but we cannot have the facility under, under this condition. But the, see, the amazing thing is this. Did a leader of opposition at any time, knowing full well what the situation is, approach his people, try to tell them the use, why he put that facility there for them and what's the use of that facility? What did he do? But now you're complaining that he's been, you know, victimized. But he could have gone to his people, talked to his people, they know him very well, they, they vote for him all the time. So he had, he had full control over them. What did he do? Will the historically disenfranchised and underserved community receive an operational comfort station? Well, the, the leader of the opposition have to work with us to see whether we could get some middle road as far as that is concerned. We are willing, but we cannot have people. We have, you know how I many security people that are afraid to even go inside of there? You should know that, okay? But I have not heard of people complaining that they need the facility so badly that it needed to open. Nobody's complaining. The mayor argues that a household with a working bathroom is more ideal than a community facility that cannot afford people dignity and privacy. When we are politicians, we always say it's very easy, when, especially when we're in, in opposition, that we're always going to uplift the people. We go have them have the dignity. But when we're in power, we degrade them. Some residents told News Force that they now see the George Charles Comfort Station as nothing more than a hollow shell that laughs in the face of people viewed in some circles as being at the bottom of the totem pole. Solash Alfred, HTS News Force.